Less than 50 nonlinear simultaneous equations. Example 3. We have to solve 3 on x minus 2 on y equals 1 and 4 on x plus 5 on y equals 2. Now I'll show you two techniques here. First of all, we'd use the substitution technique, but then with this particular case, we can also use the elimination method. So let's have a look at the substitution technique first. Again, I'll label this 1, 1. It's 1, 2. So in 1, I'll make x the subject. To do that, I'll write that's 3 on x equals 1 plus 2 on y. So 3 on x equals, it becomes y plus 2 on y. Turn them both upside down, we get x on 3 equals y on y plus 2. So x equals 3y on y plus 2. Okay, now we'll substitute that into 2. So in 2, we got 4 on x. Now that is, it's just 4 times this reciprocal. That is y plus 2 over 3y plus 5 on y equals 2 becomes 4 outside of y plus 2 on 3y plus, multiply this by 3, 15 on 3y equals 2. Now this is our common denominator of 3y, so I'll multiply both sides by 3y. Let's have a look up here. So it becomes 4, y plus 2, plus 15 equals 6y. Okay, removing the brackets, we get 4y plus 8 plus 15 equals 6y. 4y plus 23 equals 6y. Now we'll subtract the, the 4y from both sides. And we get the result that 2y equals 23 and y equals 23. 2. So now we can substitute this back into here. So take that. We get x equals 3 times 23 over 2 over 23 over 2 plus 2. Okay, and that, when you work that in your calculator, that comes out to 23 over 9. All right, now we'll use the elimination method. And what I'll do here, I'm going to eliminate the y's. So do that, I'll multiply equation 1 by 5. And we get this result here. Multiplying by 5, so that's 1 multiplied by 5. I'm going to get, multiply this by 5, we'll get, that becomes 15 on x minus 10 on y equals 5. We'll call that equation 3. And we'll take equation 2 and we'll multiply that one by 2. That gives me 8 on x minus plus 10 on y is equal to 4. Call it equation 4. Now, adding 3 and 4 together, this becomes 15 on x plus 8 on x equals, these go out, 9. So it becomes 23 on x equals 9. So x on 23 equals 1 on 9, just turn them upside down, so x equals 23 over 9. Now we have to substitute that back into one of these equations, so, so we put it back into 4, so in 4 we get 8 times, it's going to be 9 on 23, plus 
plus 10 on y equals 4. So now I get 10 over y equals 4 minus, now this will be 72 on 23. So that's 10 on y equals, this will be 4 times 23 minus 72 over 23. So we get 10 over y equals 92 minus 72 on 23. 10 on y equals oops, 20 on 23. Dividing both sides by 10. 1 on y equals 2 on 23. So y equals 23 on 23 two as we had before.